Divorce and immigration. Pretty complicated topic. Can you lose your green card if you get divorced in the process? Well, watch this video and we'll talk about it. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining me for another video here. I'm Jacob Sapochnik, immigration attorney based in San Diego, California, and I'm excited to do these videos every week and share this information with our community here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you come to us the first time. Click that bell and um, get notified whenever I release new videos. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. We have two channels on Instagram, one of my personal, when I share uh, behind the scenes and just my travels, but also some inspirational quotes, and also our immigration video channel on Instagram. Let's dive in into this video, divorce and immigration. And this comes from a question that I that I get from uh, that I got from a few of my clients who are going through the marriage green card process, but things just don't work out. And they ask me, what happens if I get divorced during this process? Will I lose my green card? And I always answer, depends. Depends where you are in the process. As you know, when you marry your citizen and you've been together less than two years, you only get a conditional green card. If you've been married more than two years and then you file, then you're gonna get a permanent green card. The difference is really important in issues of divorce. So if you have your conditional green card only and then you get divorced, okay, then there are things you can do to still save the case. For example, you can file for a waiver based on good, fair, good faith marriage to prove that you were together during those two years and things didn't work out. And you can get a waiver even if you get divorced to be able to get your permanent green card. But if you get divorced before you get your conditional green card, in the beginning, while you're pending for the first green card, while you are, or before you file, then you're not gonna be able to, uh, to get a green card at all. And so the filing itself will be canceled and you will lose your benefits of getting a green card in the first place. So remember, if you file a, uh, an adjustment of status and the case is pending, you get your work permit, your travel document, and then you get divorced, you're not gonna be able to complete the process because by the time you get an interview, they'll determine that you're not together, a divorce has been filed and you will lose everything. However, if you have your conditional green card and then you get divorced, as long as you can prove that this marriage was incepted and it was bona fide and you had, it was a real relationship, then you'll be able to still, by filing a divorce, you're still gonna be able to prove that it was a bona fide marriage, you'll be able to go to an interview by yourself and still save the case by getting a, a green card based on a bona fide good faith exception. Now, if you have a 10 year green card and then you get divorced, then it doesn't matter at that point because you know, at that point you have a permanent green card and if you get divorced then by the time you apply for citizenship, the only thing is you won't be able to apply for citizenship based on a three year uh, marriage to your citizen, you have to wait for five years. So again, to summarize this, if you are married to your citizen and you're filing your application and you're now in the process of this application, you don't have the green card yet, but you have a work permit, you have a travel document and you're pending, at that point if you get divorced, and that divorce becomes final, uh, or even if it's not final, if you, if you get to the interview and you're in, in the process of getting of, of divorce, you're not gonna be able to finish this case. It's gonna be very complicated because at that point, immigration will determine that you're not together anymore before even getting the conditional green card, and most likely that case will fail. Now, there are exceptions. Even if you are in the early stage of filing the, the adjustment of status and not getting to the interview, and you are being, for example, abused, if you're going through an abuse process where the U.S. citizen uh, is abusing the spouse, there is a way to still get a green card, even if you're divorced, even if you're not gonna get to that interview by filing an I-360 abuse petition. And we've done a separate video on that and we're gonna link it here in the comments. Uh, and that's another exception. But typically, if you're filing an adjustment, everything is good and you just think things just don't work out and you have a divorce filed, then you're not gonna be able to uh, get a green card. But if you are during the conditional period to your green card and a divorce has been filed and is final, you are still able to remove those conditions without that petitioner by showing that it was a bona fide marriage 
it just didn't, didn't work out. It was, um, we call this a bona fide marriage exception, and you can still get your green card but, uh, with the divorce. So hopefully you found this information useful. Let me know in the comments below any questions. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can notify, you get, get notified for any new videos that we release. And I'll be very grateful if you share this video with a friend or somebody who may need this information. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.